Okay, today is Wednesday, 1 14 uh, As you can tell, I'm in City Hall and I'm heading back to the Sheriff's Office uh, on 11 27 2013. I was taken in by the San Francisco Sheriff's Department at San Francisco General following up on trying to retrieve my medical records. Uh, the medical records I speak of are for an incident in September where I was illegally 5150 at the Northern Station. So if you look at the videos, you'll see them here. Uh, in addition, on 1127 at San Francisco General, they confiscated my cameras and they uh, charged me with uh, three bogus charges and gave me a notice to appear on January 15, 2014. Let me teach you about the rig methodology. You appear, there are no charges because they were invalid and bogus, but yet you don't get to appear in front of a judge so that you can, you know, ask for due process. You're denied due process. This happened to me also in 2001 when I was illegally arrested at San Francisco General, you know, seeking services. Um, at that point, I wasn't, you know, able to see the judge, you know, when I went in for the um, follow-up to that 2001 and uh, speak to him in regard to the uh, lack of due process. It was just, you know, more games that they play on poor people and people who don't know their rights. It's a very, very inhumane system. Now, um, I will try and follow up with people here in regard to that. I'm also trying to get a hold of the sheriff so that we can have that meeting that, you know, I was promised 1127, you know, for the other matters that I had to bring up, 1127.13. If you look at the videos, I'm sorry, 11, 27, 12, if you look at the videos, and you'll begin to note the game playing and everything else. Um, like I said, one year afterwards, you know, it's still continuing at San Francisco General, and I've said all along, you know, the sheriff is nothing more than the lapdog. My rights have never been protected by the sheriff. He apparently can't walk me across the street to make sure that I get my medical care at you know, uh, the Department of Public Health, uh, the entire thing just stinks to high heaven, but when there are no consequences, when you can continue to spread the illusion, what does it matter? Now, let's not forget that, you know, this supposedly is the sheriff who, you know, instigated new policies for domestic violence, you know, and stuff like that, but I guess against the disabled, who are, shall we say, dead right, it doesn't matter. It's unfortunately not my world, but I'm following up on it. Uh, we'll just continue to go from here and see where we get. All righty. Hello. Oh, I, go. I, go. No. I need to speak with either Ross, Paul, or Mr. Winters. I was illegally arrested at 1127. I showed up to appear. Apparently the charges were dropped. So I need to question not only why was I illegally arrested, why were my cameras confiscated, Oh, and the fact that I haven't gotten them back and who's going to help me get them back, you know, considering that it's been nothing but abuse here, I'm still continuing to follow up and make videos and post the truth for everyone to see. So I know that the, the sheriff is in the meeting because the meeting came at 2.30, so let me see if more nurses available. Oh, naturally. Thank you. Now, just so you know, here's my notice to appear. And here's the stamp on the back when I did appear.
you know, basically, I guess that's their way of saying, you know, that the charges were dropped. Well, you know, what charges? The charges were invalid and they were bogus. Unfortunately, you know, uh, for two months or longer, they've kept my cameras, which have caused me nothing but problems because, you know, it's my cameras that make me feel safe, considering that everything and everything I've been told has been lies and it's been documented, you know. So we'll question that also. Um, here is the property receipt. For my cameras that they confiscated and you know I also want to speak to him about the fact that when I was given this notice to appear you know there was only two charges initially on it and um, afterwards they put a third charge on it and mind you I've requested the videotapes and everything through Sunshine you know and have been denied that uh, up until this point so I'm still following up on that because the videotapes will show everything that I'm saying is true and accurate. It is 2.41, Wednesday, Fabulous, darling. How are you doing? Fabulous. The truth or pleasantries? Pleasantries, you know, and that's my favorite thing. Mm. Okay? That would a hell no suffice. Is is Mr. Winters in? Is he coming out? me out of the building several times and you know all without you know what I believe was correct process you know at least when it comes to my rights so I, I, I can obviously feel for the other person that he walked out the building you know I truly can I've got many videos unfortunately to be honest with you of course it's not taken care of. It never is. It's known as risk management 101. Deflect, defer, and deny until you give up. Until you give up. It's not like I've been answered appropriately. I'm the one who continues to follow up. They don't follow up with me. It's known as rig methodology. Or you could also go to the clerk of the board on the second floor. They should know everything. He is coming up? Okay. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. He's on his way up. And Mr. Winters is on his way up. Thank you.
think that he meant to come here to complete the paperwork. Mm-hmm. And she was trying to be helpful. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and didn't really get to the song. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon, Sorry. Winters. Sorry, I was late. Uh, a whole bunch of things. First okay. of all, yes. uh, I went in to 25NS, like you suggested, Yes. and it naturally didn't work. It was a dead-end lead, again. Okay. Did you want to film inside the offices of 25NS? Am I not allowed to film in a public building? You're not allowed to film inside the offices of Did I not offer them the choice to come out and take it in a public they place? Take, they will not take the complaint outside the offices of 25NS. And why is that? Because there are certain uh, certain rights afforded to peace officers, uh, sort of afforded to all individuals when a complaint is being made. And do you have a law that supports that, or is it just another policy? Yes, it's a law. It's a penal code. Wonderful. Can you quote it to me? You can look it up. It's in Why the, uh, would I look it up? 3300. Uh, well, I, I would wait till you give it to me, because in the meantime, I really just don't believe you. Okay. All right. Secondly, uh, I was falsely arrested by the sheriff's department on 1127 at San Francisco General, following up, trying to get my medical records there. Mm-hmm. And I was given a notice to appear mm-hmm. on 115, and I appeared. Mm-hmm. And I was charged with three bogus charges: wiretapping, resisting arrest, and trespass. Okay. Naturally, you know, I don't understand the wiretapping because I wasn't on the phone. I don't understand the resisting arrest since you know I didn't resist arrest; they held me. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand the, the last one, trespassing. How can you be trespassing at a public hospital seeking, you know, your own medical records? Okay. Uh, mind if I take a look at that? Sure. Okay. Right there. All right. Okay, so 632A, is that the, uh, that's the videotaping one, correct? No, that's not correct. So I believe 632 APC refers to the videotaping. No, that's be, not uh, correct. That's the wiretapping wire act. Okay, so it could be that the wiretapping is just a general um, overview of the term, and it's just you have to look read into what the A, the subsection A. Uh, I, 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 I believe I have. So, so it could also be okay, that the so 632 talk, is... And then the 148A1 PC is a subsection of resisting. So it's not resisting physically per se. It could be a different definition of resisting. Uh, 602, maybe you were given. I wasn't there, so I don't know the specifics. I can't speak to the specifics of the violation. So the uh, trespass, could, I, I can't speak to the specifics. But maybe Wonderful. You were given a Another question I have is that when I did, no, when I did appear, I wasn't to, able to go in front of the judge to, to explain uh, to him how to I'd been denied due process. The order to really leave. Um, yeah, I was still answering your question from like three questions ago. So. Uh, so I, I wasn't at your court hearing. I don't know why you weren't allowed to appear before the judge. Well, I can tell you in 2001, pretty much the same thing happened, you know, when I, you know, when I saw the judge for that illegal arrest by your department, which I now have a signed confession sitting next to an arrest record, never having been arrested for a crime that, you know, you guys committed on me in 2001. You know, I asked the judge about my due process, and, you know, he told me to leave, that, you know, that it was closed because the charges had been dropped. And I said, well, if the charges have been dropped and I've done no wrongdoing, why was I falsely arrested? So once again, 10 years later, apparently it's still happening and happening again, which is unacceptable. Okay. Do you have another court date for this? No. It's on the back. It was obviously dismissed or whatever because, oh. of course, the charges were dropped because they so, were bogus. Well... So there's no further court date? So, yes. Yeah, so I guess oh, I'll just... So we'll, there's nothing further on this well, That's case. not true. I haven't been granted my due process in this case when I was illegally held. If there's no further court date, there's no further... Uh, judge sees no further reason to pr- proceed with this case. Well, that sounds awfully convenient, except for, of course, the lack of my due process. It's actually very convenient for you because then we're not held to... Uh, we're not... We don't, have to, how do you, we don't have to have to prove a case again. How do, you, how do you define convenient if so, I was the one who was falsely arrested and I can't get due process? How do you define that word convenient? It's, uh, you don't have to go through a trial where you are uh, prosecuted by the state for a crime you allegedly did not commit. And I also don't get so, the due process to turn around and to say to the judge that if I didn't commit this crime, I was illegally arrested, and well, I don't get to go forward from there either, so I'm well, denied due process. In this situation, you're the defendant, so now you could turn the tables and prosecute. You could sue the department. 
You mean, look, you mean pretty much like I tried to in 2001 when I went to federal court and they had my case thrown out with Tesla lying and fraud only to sign a confession four years later through the Office of Inspector General? That was 13 years ago. I mean, Oh, but nothing has changed apparently since the procedure is rigged to fail because I couldn't see a judge, I couldn't get due process, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you can try again, et cetera, Oh, et yes, I can always try again in a failing system that's unaccountable. Unacceptable, Mr. Mr. Winters. Also, they kept my two cameras. They kept my two cameras. Uh, when am I going to get my property back? Um, have you gone back to the hospital to ask for your property back? Uh, back to the hospital where they might have me illegally arrested again? Do you really think I feel safe there? I mean, you guys wouldn't even walk me across the street to the Department of Public Health. I would love for to go to the hospital with you in civil standby so that when they try to break my rights again, maybe you will be there to enforce them. But, you know, your option of going back to a hospital which has already broken my rights repeatedly mm -hmm. is pretty much not an option. So, is that a yes or a no? It's an I don't know at this point. You okay. know, will you provide civil service to go to the hospital? Is that a yes or a no? That's a no. Oh, of course, because if you provide civil service, then I'd be, you know, maybe I'd have some due process and correct handling. But since that's not going to happen, then the hospital is free to do what they did last time, which was illegally arrest me, confiscate my, my cameras, you know, write up a bogus charge, which is dropped, not allow me to see the judge, you know, so that I can, you know, follow up on the lack of due process and the inhumanity. You know, the games have just continued, Mr. Winters. Anything else? I'd like to set up a meeting with Ross because I'm still trying to go back and speak to him regarding the entire rig procedures. Okay, is this is about disability thing you mean? No, this is about a lot of things. Okay. 11, 27, 12. Let me tell you something. When you have one of the people that works in the, for the mayor's office of disability explain to you what an accommodation is and you tell her that she does not know what accommodations are um, and she is an accommodation expert on disabilities. Um, I think you need to sit back and look at the person, listen to the experts. Would that be like me having to listen to the experts in federal court that told, you know, the judge that lied and tested lied to them, the expert that told those, that person in no, federal court? I'm not court. talking about federal well, court. Well, no, but I am. Okay. You, want me to, you want me to acknowledge her expertise. Of course, of course. You want me, you want me to acknowledge her, her expertise, but yet the expertise that was used in federal court to deny me my I rights. I the federal court means. Well, you know, I have the paperwork. And it's on, you know, my own private Guantanamo.com okay, just to prove else? that it's rigged and it doesn't work. Uh, so, you know, that expert could be wrong, could she not, at the Mayor's Office of Disability? Well, you know, I, I would think that the expert in the federal court case wouldn't be wrong, but I have the proof that that happened. So you can doubt all you want, just like I doubt that I'll ever receive due process and humanity here at the Sheriff's Office. That's why I'm videotaping. Yeah. Anything else? Um... I sunshined you guys for records. When do you think I'll receive that? Uh, that's being processed by our legal department. Yes. I, they don't fall under my chain at all, so I can't answer. All right. Well, I still want another meeting with the sheriff to go over all these outstanding issues. So when okay. do you think I could possibly have that? Uh, you can call 554-7225 and schedule a meeting with them. And when I call and they don't do that, do I come back in and videotape you? Sure. Why not? I, I mean, I, I don't handle the sheriff's calendar, so I don't schedule his meetings. Well, of course not. I, I, I understand compartmentalized responsibility so that it all fails. I right, truly I'm understand sure. that. I could sit here and explain it to you, but you won't like my answer. Oh, and you wouldn't like so. my response. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. See Stand you. For. See you next time. I'll be back. So, folks, like I said, every excuse in the world, but no civility, no humanity and certainly no admission of doing something wrong when I have all the proof of it. So continue to watch the videos as I will continue to come in and to prove that not only is it rigged, not only are they, you know, incompassionate, but, you know, they won't take me now down to the hospital to make sure it doesn't happen again. I, I'm not afforded civil standby. What a wonderful web we weave so that we can continue to screw people out of their rights. Once again, I am not the failure. But it's here on YouTube for you guys to watch and to notice, you know. I ask the appropriate questions, you know. I state my things. And, of course, you know, everyone else in the world can be right except Grant. Well, go to my own private Guantanamo 
look at the signed confession and realize that this is the same bullshit they used for years. Everyone else is right but Grant who has the signed confession. Well, what does it tell you about a system where nobody is accountable, nobody is humane, and the games continue? Let me tell you one thing. I will continue. Because as you can tell, you know, this is not worthy of anyone. But when something is rigged and they don't have to account and can continue to play these games, it will happen. So please stay tuned as I will continue.